Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and today a birthday celebration puzzle. We shall get to that in a second. Um, I do want to congratulate the people who finished the Build Your Own Sudoku Puzzle Hunt, which was the May reward. Fantastic puzzle hunt by Matthias Martinka. Very hard in some places, but the people who finished it say that it's been absolutely wonderful. So congratulations to uh, Kern de Wilt, uh, who actually sent it a couple of days ago. Sorry about that, Kern. After building you up as a great solver, to then miss your entry coming in was embarrassing. Um, Pankaj Kansal, Benoit Massar, Christos Kolokotron, Alex Edwards, Greg Bishop, and Steve Swingle. Well done, indeed. That is not an easy task to get through that. Now, we obviously have loads of other stuff going on, um, as well as that very amusing clip of uh, the lady saying that uh, she didn't, or failing to get right the sum of the digits from 1 to 45, which we mention occasionally, I think. Um, there was also videos on the channel of crossword solves, of um, setting videos. We've got so much going on on Patreon, uh, more content as well. The extra puzzles from that setting a Sudoku within an hour contest. Absolutely fascinating results from that, amongst many other things. So loads to look forward to. Also, we definitely have other things in the works too. But Today's puzzle is a celebration of um, Henrik Jakobsen's girlfriend, Maika's birthday. So we very much congratulate her. Uh, he called the puzzle birthday, but we have changed the name to Guess the Age. Let's see if we can work out what age Maika might be. Um, there are some clues in the puzzle. So what are the rules, though? Normal Sudoku rules apply, and there is a knight's move constraint. So two cells a knight's move apart cannot contain the same digit, so both of those couldn't be a four. Um, let's try and remember that. It gets easier as digits get filled to remember it, so the first memory of it can be difficult. Along thermos, both red and grey are thermos here, um, and digits increase from the bulb end all the way to the end. And there is one arrow. I think this is meant to represent a heart down here, which is why I've done it in red, with an arrow being shot through it, a Cupid's arrow, and then Maika's initials at the top. Um, very, Henrik's clearly made use of the fact that her surname starts with a Z. That's brilliant. Um, so digits on the arrow sum up to the digits in the circle. And we have a number of cages, which always show their sums and contain no repeat digits. So that's what we've got going on. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I have no idea about difficulty, but let's see how it goes. Let's get cracking. So, you know what I'm going to do to start off with. I'm going to fill in a one there and then put all the possible digits on these longer thermos because that is the way I roll. Um, so we've got three degrees of freedom on this one. Just two on a seven cell thermo. How long is this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, slightly odd shape, so not so easy to compute. Four, five, six, five, six, seven, nine, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. These other thermos on the heart, they're a bit too little even for me to bother to uh, pencil mark. But So I've left out things like two where I could see it sees it, three sees that. And now, hmm, we're not getting any triples and quadruples reading across. Ah, oh, we haven't got much going on. Okay, let's have a look at this cage sum. If this thermo adds to 32, well, we can use the secret, uh, the, the numbers one to nine, which must fill this box, add to 45. So if the cage number's 30, sum to 32, these two add up to 13. Ah, and that is going to tell us something, because they can't contain a 2 or a 3 then. So the 2 and the 3 in the box must be here and here. That's got to be right. 
then this is a pair of either 49, 58, or 76. With the other cells here. Ah, so. So let's not forget the knight's move, actually. Three there, three there. That can't be a three. Right, three must be in one of these two cells in box three. Two must be in one of these two. These three cells, a bit similar to there, we've got six cell 32 cage. So those three add up to 13 in box three. Don't know how to use that yet. Over on this side, we've got loads of seven cell cages. I think they're always going to have one, two, and three in, aren't they? Actually, this one must have one, two, three, and four. Three is six, yes. Then there's 24. What's missing from a seven cell cage? Yes, it's the same as this, basically. Digits adding to 13. That's how we know they're always going to have one, two, three in, because the two missing digits add up to 13 and don't include one, two, and three. Right, so here we've definitely got one, two, three, and four. So the missing digits are either five and eight or six and seven. What does that mean? Okay, well, we could look at it this way. If these are four, nine, we end up with six, seven, eight here, which adds to 21, plus 32 is 53. That would be an eight. If it's a five, eight pair, this is six, seven, nine, which adds to 22. This would be a nine. And if it's six, seven, that's five, eight, nine. Again, that's 22. So this is only eight or nine down here. And one, two, three, four are in the cage. Now, I suppose that all fits together along with either um, five. But never mind. Right, what about these five cell cages? There seem to be three different five cell cages that add up to 32. Ah, and in these two boxes, right, they're leaving out four cells that add up to 13, which is 45 minus 32 again. Um, they must always include a one. So one of those two cells is a one. As a result of that, since we know those two on the thermo aren't. Ah, where does one go in this box now? Those ones say not there. That one says not there. But that one also uses the knight's move and says not in those two. So we've got a one in one of those two cells. Oh, and they're both looking at this one. So if that can't contain a one, the one that must be in this cage now has to be here straight back at that pair. That's very neat. Now there's got to be a one somewhere here, but it's got to be outside the 32 cage, so we can put it in there. Um, somewhere down there, there's a one that does the one for that 32 cage. Right. Now these three add up to 12. So they're either two, three, seven, Two, four, six, or three, four, five. Right, what else can we do? Um, hmm, I'm not sure. That's a thing. Yeah, we're using the knight's move thing very early. Oh, this can't be a three because it sees that by knight's move. That was very slow of me not to notice that. A bit like yesterday's error, which somebody brilliantly described as scanning like a stormtrooper. Um, 
that really was the revenge of the Sith, I suppose. Um, now, oh, th look, three can't be in those cells. If three appears in one of those two, it can't be in those two. This is because of the a special knight's move thing. If three was there, it couldn't be there by ordinary slope, and it couldn't be there by knight's move. And if three was there, the same two are ruled out by the same rules operating the other way around. But that three is also ruling out that cell. So now we know three is in the 32 cage, and we know, therefore, because four digits, four Sudoku digits heading up to 29 must be five, seven, eight, nine. That's another knowledge bomb. That cage must be made up of three, five, seven, eight, nine. That one on the thermo can't be a nine. So this is two, four, six up here. Oh, and look, two can't be in those cells. That two does the same thing and says two can't be there. So two is outside the cage in box five. It's in one of those two cells. But we know that these four add up to 13. We know they've got a one and a two in. The other two add up to 10. And they can't be three, seven. Because this four, this cell has to be four or five, so it now must be a one, two, four, six quadruple. Oh, that's beautiful! Four there, two, one. The third cell becomes a six, and we've got a real start now. That becomes a five. Five is in one of those two cells. Let's use the same trick again and rule it out there. So that can't be a six on the thermo. Three now can't be in any of those cells, so it's in one of those two. Two down here is in one of those. There's so much to scan here, I will probably miss something because we've just sort of unlocked quite a lot of information. I'm not going to feel too bad about that. Um, four there, four in one of those places. This has to be four in row six, that's where it has to go. Um, ah, this cell, oh, where does two go? Two there, two there, two there. Two's in one of those two places. Three, three. Three is also in one of those two cells. So it's a pair. Use that for anything? Three, four, five. This can't be six. Oh, look, neither of those can be six. We can place six. There's a six there and a six there. That's six. And the rest are seven, eight, and nine in this box. Now, three, two, one, six, five. That makes this a seven. This is not a seven now. Now, what is this 32 cage made up of? We've got 12 there. This slot adds up to 20. It's got to include a one, two, and a three. So this one is also a two and a three to go with that. Right, that's even better. Six and 12 is 18. We need another 14. So eight goes with either six or five up here. But that sees that by knight's move. So that is a five. That's a nine. Let me just check the maths on that. 14, 20, 25, 32. That's beautiful, yes. Right, so that 5 has to accompany something, making 13 up there. That becomes an 8. We go 4, 6. That's been quite an intricate break-in, but very satisfying. Um, 8. Oh, hang on. Now it's all gone wrong because I've got a few 7s in the column. Yeah, that didn't work out at all. Right, let's go back a bit. Let's go back a bit to, I like this one, two, six, four deduction. What did I do wrong after this? It was something to do with this cage, I'm sure. That became a five, that was okay. What was I doing with twos and threes? I was saying, ah, oh, I did something wrong with threes. Look, twos are there and there, that's fine. Twos in one of those cells. Four. Four was all right. I can place four there. 
that's no problem. Why did I think those had to be threes? For some reason I decided that couldn't be a three. Oh yes, it's because three has to be in one of these two cells. Still think that's right. Ah, but for some reason I thought three was there and three was in one of those, but three could be in one of those. I bet it is now because it went so badly wrong before, but that would be bifurcating. We're not going to do it that way. Five there, five there. One of those is a five. One of those is a five. That's what I'm trying to do. These are from seven, eight, and nine. That's all that's left. Um, six, I claimed, went here. But now it could be there because that's not three anymore. Right, okay, so we'll go at this a bit more slowly. And I don't have as much information as I thought I did about this gauge. So it's not so straightforward. This is better. And it's harder, so that's fair enough. In a very intricate puzzle so far, very cleverly set up, I have to say. Um, Henry claimed this is his first puzzle ever. It's astonishing that it's so well done to me. Now, what else can we do? Three, two, one. Yeah, a bit stuck there. Right, let's have a look at ones, which I haven't really focused on. For a digit, I've got quite a lot of. So that. None of those are. Oh, one can never be in a five cell 32 cage because then it could only add up to 31. Right. So we can actually place one in this box. Um, that gives us a one up here. That means that one is in one of these two cells with two. Does it? One, one, two, two. Yes. And one there. This can't be a two by the night's move. Yes. So we know which way around they go because of the thermo. Now, these two cells have to add up to 12 to make up the 45 total. So we can rule out six, put seven, eight, or nine in there. That two comes out to, ah, we know where two goes in this row because of that two and that two. Those can't be two. So two goes there. This can't be a two for the thermo. This can't be a two for this arrow. It could have been if they could be both ones, but that one can't. In fact, neither can be. So two is there in column eight. That two on its own rules out all of those cells. Uh, so two's in one of those two. And then two's in those cells. But is there a problem with that? Both of these cages, these seven cell cages, need two. Maybe it works okay. Um, yeah, this one doesn't need a two, and it might not have one if that's a two. Oh, but hang on. Oh, look, this, these, oh, that's amazing. We need to put a two in each of columns one and two. Given where we've got them placed, this is extraordinary. I haven't seen this pattern used before. This is really lovely. Um, given where they're placed in rows, what are these, four, six, and eight, we know that, and, and they're in column three, we know that twos are confined to these three dominoes here in column one and two. However, if you had a two here, where could you put a two in column two? That sees all these three cells by knight's move or directly. The same is true here. You couldn't put one in column one because it sees all of those cells and prevents a two being in them. So in fact, these two cells cannot contain a two. The one in row seven must be here. That's not a two. And now we need one in this 32 cage because of the killer rule. That's beautiful. So that's a two, and that's the last two. What an elegant construction. So sorry I messed it up with my three nonsense earlier, but we're back on track. 
that's become a one, where does one go in? One of those? No, there's a one there. So that's probably the last one in the grid. And we've done all the twos now. Excellent. Right. Um, now let's go back to this 32 cage. What's going on here? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't have a six in it in box four. This can still be any number higher than three. So I don't think we know what is going on in it. Okay, so let's find something else to do. This thermo, no, not useful yet. This is really interesting. Right. That four, that four, six pair both see this cell, so that's not a four. So that and that have to add to 12, so that's not an eight now. Um, this couldn't be a seven, eight, nine triple, or it would break that cell, so we can take seven out of there. Hmm. More complex patterns to spot? I'm not sure. Now, this doesn't have a two in it. It's hardly surprising. I think, I think there are still several combinations that... Oh, no, there aren't. There are two, because again, the numbers not in it now are one, two, and either three, seven, or four, six. So must have a... Five in it? Is that any use? Not yet. Must have another of eight or nine. That be the same as that. Okay, let's. Ooh, just what else is there? What's going on? Possibilities there. I've kind of looked at them already. We need to get a three in this cage. There's one there, so that's not a three. So three can be in one of these two cells. Ah, oh, but we also need to get, yes, there you go. But we also need to get a three in this cage. So there's gonna be one in one of those two cells. They both see this cell. So this can't be a three. So where do we put a three in this 32 cage? Can't be there because of that one, and now it has to be there. That's very pretty as well. So we can take three out there. That's a seven, eight, nine triple. This is a three, five pair. No, I'm just looking up there. They don't let three or five be in those. That's fine. Um, three. This has become a three in column one. Now, that adds up to 11. This can't be a 6, because 6 is in one of those cells. Shall I go back to thinking about the pairs that are available here? This could be 4, 9, in which case this is 6, 7, 8. Oh. This can't be ah oh, five in this column. That's the question. Because of that five, it's not there. So five goes up here. So that's a four. And now we know this is a six, seven pair. But we also know it can't be a six because of the positioning of six there. Whichever place that's in, it sees that by ninth move. So seven there, six, eight, nine. This is a six, seven pair. We know which way round they go. That's beautiful. Now we've got an eight nine pair that both see this cell which becomes a naked single seven um nine and seven have gone out of this row so eight at the end six um five or four there so this has to be three now now that means we know what this is for by deducting the out is from 45, that's a nine. We've got four, eight, seven to go in at the top here. That's not four, that's not seven. So no, one, three, two, nine, five, six. This is an naked single five. 
That can't be a nine because of the knight's move. Then we've got five and seven to go in there. I don't know which way around yet, but it makes this one a four, which sees this cell. This is seen by the three above. This can't be eight. Oh, this can't be nine or seven, so that is eight. Now, this has to be, well, that's a pair that are eight and nine. I can't tell which. Four or seven there, four or five there. With a chocolate teapot triple down the outside. Now, this is another chance for me to scan like a stormtrooper, I dare say. Let's see how we go. Um, eight, nine, five, so four, six, and seven. Four or seven there. Four, six, or seven here. Probably going to have to work out this 32 cage constituents at some point. Ah, that five says that's not a five. So five is there. Still putting this off. Um, these are. Five, ah, oh, five can't be there or there, given that five, so we can place the five. Let's take the pencil marks out. This can't be eight, so it, oh, and it can't be nine, so it's a naked single three. This is eight or nine, I can't see a knight's move that tells me which. Ah, oh, I can now, that nine sees that cell, there we go. So they all unwind very nicely. This also can't be four because of that. It's lovely when the knight's move starts acting everywhere all at once. Really helpful. Um, of course, that's the best way to see the knight's move is as a helpful thing. Right, let's try this 32 cage now. 17 now there. That's a five, 22. These two have to add up to 10. But this can't be four or six. So that's fairly straightforward now. Three, seven, four, six. That hasn't told me. How this our oh, eight nine pair does tell me what that cell is. That nine reaches in to that eight. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, that was easily done from adding up this cage or well, that one. <laughs> Just wasn't doing my my killer work there. Eight and nine there. This is now a five, which may fixes the pair at the top. I think we're all finishing now. Four, five, one, nine, two, eight. Um, so we get six, three, seven. This proves the last arrow and thermo, which don't. Oh, no, I did use that that was in a circle that couldn't be a two earlier. So I'm not going to say it was an unnecessary two. And there we go. That is the solution, I believe, to Henrik Jacobson's puzzle. Happy birthday to Micah and Thank you guys so much for following the channel for the last year. Thank you to all of you who are following the channel. Thanks for subscribing, for supporting us on Patreon, and for, for all the nice comments we get all the time. Thank you so much for everything you do. And really looking forward to another one tomorrow. See you then. Bye for now.